Favorite movie? Oh my goodness. This is a good question. I keep trying to get everyone to watch To Die For. Like, keep being like, let's have a To Die For movie night. And they're all like, yeah, for sure. And I'm like, so when is it happening, though? Mississippi Grind. A Room with a View. Interstellar. I did a lot of theater as a kid. So I kind of grew up watching a lot of the old MGM films with Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire. I really love the movie Network. It's not telling you what to think. I like stuff that leaves you with more questions and lets you interpret it. I've seen Donnie Darko a lot of times. Friday. Godfather. And American Psycho a lot of times. <laughs> Just light comedy. This is one really crazy <laughs> movie called Dumplings. It's like a horror situation. McCabe and Miss Miller. Black Panther. I watched Moonstruck recently. That is a wonderful movie. Cher is so good. And everyone is so good in that movie. And it's like goofy, but like really sweet. Yeah, I, uh, I adored that. <laughs> Summer Heights High. Breaking Bad. Catastrophe. I loved, loved, loved Static Shock growing up. Every day, my dad would come home from work and we'd watch an episode of I Love Lucy and then an episode of The Twilight Zone. Fleabag. I loved Fleabag. I got the hots for everyone on that show. Andrew Scott, what a... What? <laughs> Arrow. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The Mighty Boosh. It was really imaginative. I lived for that show. Denzel Washington. Charlotte Rampling. Will Forte. Nicolas Cage. I love how like big he goes. Nicole Kidman. She's just so like powerful and strong. And I got to see her at AFI Fest. She came out and was like, hello, it's great to be here. And I was like, <laughs> and I just started like sobbing. Simon Pegg. Don Cheadle. Ewan McGregor. Sandler's great. I think he should have been nominated for Uncut Gems. I was talking with one of my friends. I was like, who's, who's your favorite actor? And he was like, Gary Oldman. And I was like, who's that? I haven't seen him in anything. And he was like, oh, yes, you have. Go look up the many faces of Gary Oldman. And I didn't realize, I was like, oh, that is the same person. That is the same person. Like, to me, that's acting. And Tom Hanks. Good night, Mr. Tom. Less than zero. The things that got me into reading really were comic books. My parents were like, okay, you love like these picture books and you're like 13, why don't we like try to get you into something? And I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then I came across The Lightning Thief and I fell in love with it. Oh, there's this really good uh, series right now called The King Killer Chronicles. There's a lot of action and things that are happening to this character that we're following. But at the end of the day, it's him coming of age. I loved the Harry Potter books. These mystical things were happening that are like great metaphors for like growing up. There were just good lessons dropped in those books. You know what I mean? Like Dumbledore is like, he's the man. And he like lays it on those kids to be like good. I like this book called The End of an Affair by Graham Greene. Very sexy. Uh, which is good. Um. <laughs> Mallory Blackman, Noughts and Crosses. The Shining. And then I loved The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, big time. 